Hello guys and welcome back to our next adventure in Old School RuneScape. I'm outside uh, Doric's hut here, where I'm about to head a little bit further north to begin our next quest, Goblin Diplomacy. But while I'm here I want to test something, because I have a sneaking suspicion if I walk up to this gate here I might get a new song. Because it's far enough west. Oh hang on. Horizon, but apparently we've heard this one before. So uh, yeah, no new song for us. We can look into this far off land here. Oh, this, blimey, I just had a flashback to, my god, what just happened here? I had like a split second memory of a really old DOS era game. I will never know what that game was, but that is pre me being old enough to play games, so it must be like an older sibling playing it. But I remember like a garden area and... God, no, I wonder what that was. Like I said, I'll never know, but uh, <laughs> let's stop reminiscing on past games that I never even played and instead continue north. Goblin Village. We've heard this song before, of course, when we were doing our mind altar. Oh, I can talk to these goblins. That's a bit different, if I can bloom and select one. What have they got to say to me? Red armor best, okay. Uh, okay. What about this one? Green armor best. Red armor best. Oh my god, they're fighting each other. <laughs> what about this one guy? Oh, come back. Red armor best. Red armor best, why is it best? Let's find out. Because General Bent knows say so, and he's bigger than me. Red, red, red. Red ram, red ram. Let's head in further into the village here. I wish there was like little trading things. Look at this area. I've... Oh wait, hang on. No, this, this is part of the map here. I was about to say like I can see all this like within arm's reach, but not quite. But it's... I take it back. That is actually in the map here. In fact, I'm going to go and investigate this place sometime soon. Let's go in. Who's this at the door here? Let me in. General Bent knows himself. Let's talk to him. I tell all goblins in village to wear green armor now. They not listen to you, I already tell them to wear red armor. They listen to me, not you. They know me bigger general. Me bigger general. They listen to me. Human, what color armor are they wearing out there? Half of them are wearing red and half of them green. Shut up, human. They wearing green armor already. Human lying because he's scared of you. Human's scared of me, not you. Uh, then you think me bigger general. What me mean? I was going to say, I got confused there, but now <laughs> I get what he's saying. Shut up, me bigger general. Why are you arguing about the color of your armor? Uh, we decide to celebrate Goblin New Century by changing color of our armor. Brown get boring after a bit. We want change. Problem, uh, they want different change to us. Uh, wouldn't you prefer peace? Do you want me to pick an armor color for you? Uh, yeah, peace is good as long as it's peace wearing green armor. Fair answer. But green too much like skin. Nearly make you look naked. Do you want me to pick an armor color for you? Yes, as long as you pick green. No, you have to pick red. You should wear red. You should wear green. What about a different color? That would mean me wrong. But at least warp face, not right. Me to know what that look like. Have to see armor before we decide. Human, you bring us armor in new color. What color we try? Orange armor might be good. Yeah, bring us orange armor. Okay, well, let's do that then. Well, the first thing we need to do is find some armor. Now, I happen to know that the crates in this village contain goblin armor. You find some goblin armor. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? Well, we need to dye it orange. How do we do that? Well, we have already obtained dye before for the uh, Prince Alley rescue quest, so we know where we're going. I'm going to teleport back to Lumbridge, and then from there, head over to Draenor. Right, here we are arriving in, uh, I was about to say Lumbridge, Draenor. Heading over to Aggie's place. What was Aggie here? Was that? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. What was the one at uh, Rim, Rimhaven? Where's that? Rimington, that's the name of the place. Talk to Aggie here. Okay, so we need orange dye. What could you make for me? Uh, dye. How do I make yellow dye? Because I'm going to need to combine two dyes here to get the desired colour. Uh, you'll need two onions and five coins. Uh, where can I get onions? 
There's some onions growing to the farm east of here, next to the sheep farm. What other colours can you make? Uh, red, yellow and blue. How do I make red? Three lots of red berries and five coins. Okay, right. Well, we have the information we need. Let's go and gather those resources. So we're going to need some onions, some ingons for the Scots among you. That is potatoes. Taters. Where's that ingon farm? Oh, hang on. There's, it's, um... What's this fight? It's Fred the Farmer's farm, isn't it? There they are. Two of them, I think she said. That's... Oh, okay. No, it is onions. Okay, I was going to say that's garlic, but whatever. Okay, we have our onions. Let's head back this way. We'll grab another air rune on the way. I know there are better ways to get air runes in less time, but whatever. We are passing over it. Okay, now thankfully for me, I have red berries in the bank. They've been in the bank for ages, ever since I did Romeo and Juliet. And I'll grab the coins I need while I'm there too. I'm also going to be going back to Aggie after this quest because I want to dye my cape to better match my armor. Now, by default, the armor in uh, RuneScape has kind of purple trim, at least on the helmet, and it's just kind of wood around the shield, I think. How far is this going to follow me? Give up? Oh, I saw something glorious the other day when I was uh, training some skills. There was like a bunch of bots here. I don't know what they were doing, but they were coming from over this way. I guess they were getting oaks or something. And uh, a dark wizard made his way into the bank here and was just a slaughter. There was just dozens of bots dying left, right and center, which is great for me as an ironman because I can actually pick up bones from uh, dead players. Uh, so I got a wee bit of prayer experience. Uh, for nothing, for no skilling. Uh, why is prayer so slow to train as well? Like, I've got everything to 20, plus magic to 35, and yet prayer is still 18. Like, how else are you supposed to do it? Right, yes, that 10 gold. And where are those red berries? What do I do with them? There they are. Three of those. That's one too many. Back to Aggie. Yeah, so I'm going to dye my cape purple, so I'm going to have to make a red dye, and I'm going to have to make a blue dye. What's that flashing on the screen? It's like the, um, I don't know. Uh, what can I help you with? Can you make for me? I'd like you to make me a red dye. Okay, make me some red dye, please. There we go. You hand the berries and payment to Aggie. Aggie produces a red bottle and hands it to you. Excellent. I was talking to her from outside there. She just threw it at me. Um, yeah, I'd also like you to make me some yellow dye. Okay, so we now have orange dye. And I'm going to use the orange dye on the goblin armor. And there we go. Wear it. What's it say? The classic. The armor is too small for a human. Examine. Armor designed to fit goblins, okay. Right, back to the goblin village. It's a hell of a long walk. Okay, coming back into goblin village here. This has been a good day for us, or for me anyway. I've completed, or I will have completed, two quests. I've explored a new city. I've completed two clue scrolls. Three if you count uh, X marks the spot. Been very productive, a nice reward after all the blumen grinding that is getting that room crafting up. Almost there now. Now almost at 50 crafting. Red, red, red. Red, not green. Stupid ready. Into the place we go. General wart face. Red armor best. No, it has to be green. Go away, human. We busy. I have some orange armor here. Okay. Grab foot. Yes, general wart face, sir. Put on this armor. Grab foot goes into the changing room. Oh my god, that looks ridiculous. What do you think? No, I don't like that much. It clashes with skin color. Yes, it does. We need darker color, like blue. Yeah, blue might be good. 
Human, get us blue armor. Okay, well, let's do that. Now, I happen to know there's another set of goblin armor in here. I think he says in this chest. Yes, you find some goblin armor. Okay, so it is back to the grindstone, back to Aggie to get ourselves some blue dye. Okay, here we are at Aggie again. Let's uh, have another chat. What can I help you with? I would like you to make me today some blue dye. What do I need? Two woad leaves and five coins. Well, fortuitously, I happen to have those very things on me right now. Make me some blue dye, please. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's dye it blue. Got some blue goblin armor. Still too small to wear, but we can now sprint back over to the goblin village and uh, deliver their new set of armor. We're back in goblin village here, delivering our second set of armor. I realized I actually skipped over some of the dialogue. I basically went and did the quest as I knew how to from years and years ago. Who's this guy here? Oh, look at that. We've got a nice little uh, sapphire here. Today's your lucky day, sir. I'm donating to the victims of crime to atone for my past actions. Thank you, man. Let's uh, head back in here and talk to the generals. Yeah, as I was saying, I, I skipped over the dialogue that would tell me like where to go and what to do. <laughs> I already knew it. Uh, let's speak to this guy again. Green armor best. No red every time. Go wake him and we're busy. I have that blue armor for you here. Grubfoot. Yes, General Wolfface, sir. Put on this armor. Grubfoot goes into the changing room. He's still wearing that ghastly orange armor. And out he comes in blue. Not that much of an improvement, I must be honest. Uh, that's not right. Not goblin color at all. Goblins wear dark, earthy colors, like brown. Yeah, brown might be good. Human, get us brown armor. I thought that was the armor you were changing from. Never mind. Anything is worth a try. Okay, am I in a fight here? I am in a fight. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, chat to this guy again. Green armor best. No red every time go away. Uh, I went to get brown armor. Brown was the old color of armor before we change it. There's bound to be some around here somewhere. Yeah, okay, there is indeed. The last crate then is up in this kind of... Oh, you can actually see it there. There it is. Uh, it's that crate. Up in this kind of front, I don't know, arch? Gan gantry? Is that the right word? I don't know. Goblin armor. There we go. Down we go. And back again to General Warface. This is going to tie in nicely with our quest reward too. Green armor best. No, right every time, go away, we are busy. I have that brown armor. Here we go. Grab foot. Yes, General Warface, put on this armor. And away you go. Let's have a look. What manner of brown is that? That is clearly gray. What do you think? I think it's grey. That colour quite nice. Me can see myself wearing that. It's a deal then. Brown armour it is. Thank you for sorting out our argument. Take this gold bar as a reward. Whoa, 200 XP, but look at that. Over 100,000 and into 50 crafting. You've completed the Goblin Diplomacy quest. You're awarded a whopping 5 quest points. That's the most yet. 200 crafting XP and a gold bar. And there we go. Your crafting is now 50. I can now craft ruby amulets. I remember I was going to do mahogany bird houses. Right, well, what to do with our new gold bar? I think it's obvious. We're going to make it into a... Uh, what's the magic? A ruby amulet. I would like to use it on the sapphire since I, I got it almost like it was fate to get this sapphire there. But uh, no, we will save the sapphire for some more gold later on. For now, I want that ruby amulet. Okay guys, we are back in Faldor here for a little epilogue to this quest here. Here are some gems that I've uh, accrued over the last, I don't know, few weeks or so. Uh, well, I've been avoiding crafting them because I don't want to pass 50 until I've done that quest, but uh, we can do that now. So uh, let's make these sapphires, do this emerald too, and then into the furnace it goes for a ruby amulet. There we go, our first ruby amulet. Just need to string it now, I've got plenty of string in the bank. Uh, and then I need to get a little bit more gold for these ones. But there's one other thing we need to do while we're in Faldor here. Just to end the quest completely. We're going to head to the bank over here. You may remember back when I was exploring Faldor, I picked up those woad leaves. And I paid 15 gold each for them. Well, he said that that was a fair deal. But we can get a better one. Uh, oh, hang on. No, I don't want the grand exchange. I want to dump all this. It is useless to me. And I will withdraw 20 gold. Look at that, over 50k there. 
that I, I'm I'm proud of that 50k. That was hard earned. It was. Let's go back and speak to what was it Wilson? No, it wasn't Wilson. It was Wayne or something like that. Wyson. Okay, close. Uh, I'm head gardener. Yes, please. I need some wood leaves. How much are you willing to pay? Well, let's say I want to pay 20 coins here. Okay, that's more than fair. Here, have two. You're a generous person. And there you go. You can get two wood leaves for 20 gold instead of the 15. Uh, we're going to use these ourselves now to make a blue dye. Combine that with a red dye to make a purple dye. And then we can dye our cape to match our future armor. Uh, we don't actually have... Uh, a helmet at the moment. Well, we have a steel one still, but uh, we don't have a, a black helmet to go with our black armor. I know I could go straight on to mithril, but I, I obviously have to smith the mithril, and I do not yet have the smithing skill to do so. Right, let's go in here, and let's take out another of those, take out these, and take out, where is it? My cape. And now it's back to Aggie in Draenor. Okay, hello again, Aggie. For one final time, I would like for you to make me a red die. Okay. And I would like for you also to make me a blue die. Oh, we can see her actually making it in the cauldron. That's interesting. Uh, where's that blue? There we go. Okay, make me some blue die. There we go. In go the leaves, out comes a blue potion. Blue die even. Combine the two, we have the purple dye, use it on our cape. And there we go. A nice purple cape there, royalty. Uh, that will match our full helm little uh, feathers, which are also purple. And there we go, that really is the end of this episode now. So thank you very much for watching. It's gonna be a while before I record any more. Uh, I am doing this just before moving flats. Uh, I think as of tomorrow, I will not have a PC <laughs> in a building that has internet. The internet's staying here for a few more days. Uh, the PC is moving. So uh, in that time, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to get this all the way to 61. Uh, we're just going to take my mining, I don't know, up to something stupid like 70. Um, I'm going to get my wood cutting to 57. And that's probably going to bring fire lighting to about 60 in the process. Uh, I don't think I'll work on crafting just yet. That'll come a bit later. I've only got one more thing to shoot for with crafting, and that is 70. But uh, like I said, later. Rune crafting is going to go to 46. That's going to finish out my um, rune crafting. And uh, yeah, I guess anything else I do, maybe do a little bit more magic. Uh, but I doubt I'll be doing that. Most of it is going to be that wood cutting, that smithing, finishing off that rune crafting. All right, thank you very much for watching. Really enjoy it. This has been a good day for RuneScape. I've done a lot of good things. Uh, but I will be back again for you guys probably next weekend or the weekend after, depending on what my plans are. I don't know when this episode is going out. Recording this back on the 10th of February. This could be May by now. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks again.